Hi everyone, this is Hamza Shigur from mlh.org and welcome to this quick overview of the SARS-CoV-2 virus 3D model. So basically, uh, I have organized everything in uh, collections here and in the source file you can find the individual elements which are the proteins and they are based on molecular data. So which means that I imported scientifically accurate molecular data so this is uh, for example a molecule of one of the proteins and from those atoms that uh, makes the this molecule I generated this basic shape and the same goes for the other molecules the only three elements that aren't made from molecular data are the M protein which is based on a scientific diagram instead and for the single-stranded uh, RNA, which is a very simplified visual based on scientific diagrams too. Uh, otherwise, the rest is uh, entirely based on molecular data. But for the other objects, or for the other pro proteins, I collapsed the geometry to, to polygonal uh, mesh instead of leaving them as uh, here for uh, this single protein. Anyway, so those are all the proteins that makes up the coronavirus. There's, they are organized in three categories, non-structural uh, proteins and structural proteins and the RNA and the nucleocapsid uh, RNA. So th those are the three different types. Now for the virus itself, so I took all those individual elements and scattered them over different surfaces and um, for example here let's take the uh, scattering of the spike protein and then we have the um, the envelope protein E and then we have the M protein and we have the, uh, the viral uh, uh, envelope so um, as you can see, those holes are generated automatically to make like room for the other proteins to fit in. Um, and everything is in collapsed. Um, I used mainly particle systems for each kind of protein for the distribution so you can change the number you can change different parameters for those like for each uh, element uh, so this is for the envelope now let's take a look at the RNA for the RNA instead of using a particle system I'm guiding this geometry to duplicate through a spline or curve so here we have a curve and if you modify this curve it will affect so this is a curve so when you modify this curve it will automatically affect the RNA single-stranded RNA and the nucleocapsid protein so it will automatically increase in number and uh, change uh, the shape um, and this is very like helpful for animation if you want to animate or even change parameters or the shape of the uh, single-stranded RNA. Um, yeah, so the rest is simple non-structural proteins that are scattered inside the, uh, the virus. They are like placed manually instead of uh, automatic uh, placement, which is uh, like very easy and uh, understandable for those single elements. And um, now for the uh, the slice uh, is like generated automatically using this uh, slice box. You can move it to set the place or the area where it's uh, like we want to to make the the slice. And uh, as you can see, uh, like you have full control over almost everything in this scene. Okay, for rendering. I have already made different scenes with uh, light setups, etc. And here you can switch to the different scenes and 
launch the render. So this is how it works with um, with EV render engine, and this is how it works with cycles. Well, the most interesting one is the slice view can it enable the captions. So the captions are actually full geometry. You can animate them, for example. So uh, this is a quick overview of the um, 3D uh, model of the SARS-CoV-2. Thanks for watching, and uh, if you have any question, feel free to leave a comment or contact me directly. Uh, thanks again and uh, see you.